All right, so today we have the QB Coast Koala Crate. This one's mail delivery. And here I'm gonna go ahead and do the unboxing and review of it. Kind of live with my son here to see what's in here. Um, I'm doing it this way since he did have a fun time doing it with the Sago Mini Box unboxing. Let's go ahead and see what's in here. Okay, mail delivery. All right, so here we have a little kind of little magazine. We'll go over that in a bit. All right, and this is what's gonna show us everything that's included, or I mean, well, all the activities and how to do it. So here we have special delivery and cut, fold, and trace. Okay, so he gets his own little bag here where he can put his stuff in there. His little mini duffel bag or messenger bag. <laughs> All right. Ooh, fun part. Book. He gets his own little book. Let's see what this one's called. Yeah, one, one. It's Kellen's special delivery. It's called. Hmm. Assume it's gonna be about um, Kellen delivering mail. Let me see. Okay. Okay. These are kid safe scissors. Ooh, let me see. Kaujina, my. Some crayons. Okay, so I guess these are things where he can cut out himself. <laughs> and then these are more stuff to cut out. Let's go and see what's inside. So here's, I guess, stuff to cut out. I'll take a little bit more reading and we'll be right back. All right, so this first activity here, you use the included crayons to just kind of address it to whoever you wanted to. Um, it's just, I guess, a writing practice activity. Um, my son's not that good at writing right now, but let's go and see if he has fun doing it. Your message, okay. Okay. I say, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so it's uh not exactly too easy to write on, but it's nice because it's actually you can just erase it, get a wet cloth, and write over, wipe over it, and you can reuse this. All right, so for this next activity, they have three different types. There is um, this one is involves cutting, which uses the scissors my son is holding here. Okay, hey. These are child safe scissors. They're um, plastic, so it shouldn't um, be too, well, shouldn't hurt anyone. And then this one is folding. And then last you have tracing, which you can go ahead and still use the crayon that are included. Okay, let's go ahead and do some cutting ones first. All right, so there's quite a lot of activities. We're probably not going to be doing all of them. At least um, starting to... He's not really exceptionally good with this yet. Um, he's still learning. But I do like that these scissors are extremely safe. Um, and they do seem to cut the paper fairly well. Um, so hopefully he'll have more fun using the scissors with other activities as well. Okay. Um, before we move on, let's go ahead and try the folding one. So this one here, we're supposed to fold this in. Let's go ahead and see how it works. So here they always have this little thing. It's kind of like the little instructions down here for you. Um, it's for us to remove for the child. But if your child's old enough, they can also remove it themselves. Okay, Yibin, come Yibin. <laughs> He's smiling at this one because he likes eating ice cream. And then after you fold this one, it goes from a full ice cream to an eaten ice cream. I just asked him to eat the ice cream. Think it's just a call. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> he ate the ice cream. <laughs> All right. So um, I guess the next fun part about this thing is that you can put these little individual um, whatever you make into these and sim them off like postcards, I guess. Um, so I do not believe these all fit inside. Like here, this one here doesn't fit inside this postcard, but maybe it'll fit inside the other envelope ones. Let's see. Uh, no, it's a little bit too big as you can uh, well, yeah, you can see that it's a little bit bigger than the actual uh, card. So I don't know why these, this one doesn't fit. Some of the other ones might fit. This might just be a fun activity for them to do. But I think this fits here. This is a really fun one. He was enjoying. We laughed at a pretty simple folding one uh, where it's the cat sees. Now it's a peekaboo. Now I think this fits in one of these envelopes. 
Okay, yeah, they fit in a little nice little envelope. Um, along with this stuff here, if you can go ahead and play some make-believe mail delivery. Um, although he's not really that into it today right now, um, but I can see him doing this later on when he gets a little bit older and has fun with it. Um, he did have fun putting uh, different uh, names on here, or at least having me write the names on here. Um, of course, he had me write um, his mom name, Tien. Um, on this one, this one is his name, Alistair, and I think the yellow one has my name. Yep, Kevin. Um, we didn't have one for his little sister Adeline as there wasn't a fourth envelope and he said he wanted these three names. Hmm? Alright, so this book is a nice little fun read. It's basically Kellen kind of um, seeing that his mail carrier always delivers a mail regardless of the weather. Um, it's something nice to teach your child that the mail carrier will pretty much generally always deliver the mail unless it's ridiculous weather where it's dangerous like hurricanes or flooding or something. Um, and then Kellen does something nice for the mail carrier by painting the mailbox a little special color. Just something for the mail carrier to look at. And as usual, my son really loves books. So this is something that he really enjoyed me reading to him. So I haven't done every single one of these activities in here as there are quite a little bit of cutting and um, some of these little folding ones left and drawing ones. Um, I know this box does say it's for two to four year old and my son is three years old right now and he still isn't exactly 100% um, able to do everything that's kind of suggested with this box. So um, once again, these boxes are probably, I know they say two to four, but I want to say probably three and a half years old might be, be a little bit better, depending on your child's, um, I guess, what where level they're at. Uh, my son doesn't seem to be able to do much writing yet, um, which I think is pretty normal for a three-year-old. Um, but um, if hopefully these will, you know, get him more interested in using the crayon more to be able to do tracing some shapes. Um, but overall, I think for $20, it's not too bad as you do get a lot of reusable stuff like these felt envelopes here. Um, I can see these doing really, or him having a lot of fun with the make-believe activities later on. Alright, so what this little magazine here, I'm just going to talk about it here. I haven't read the full thing yet, but this one is about the issues here. It's hand-eye coordination and teaching scissor skills and sending snail mail, um, which is something we probably should teach our child that there is other things besides electronic mail. So this should be a good read and hopefully has a lot of good information, which I usually do. And I know they usually also have a nice little section in the back here. Let me go and find it where you have other um, books that are they suggest that kind of um, go along with this box. All right, so um, yeah, I think he's um, pretty much done with this unboxing. Um, I kind of have a mixed feelings about doing unboxings with him as I have to unbox it and then I have to do the reading on this. Um, it's, I think it's a bit easier if I do the unboxing myself so that everyone can see what's included and then I go ahead and do the activities with him after I've read the instructions. As right now, I think he does get a little bit bored whenever I kind of sit here and I tell him, you know, just maybe read the book or take a look at something while I read this. But next time, I'll probably just do my regular way. This might be a one-off. Unless, of course, you guys really like this. And maybe when he gets a little bit older, we can do another unboxing together. So go ahead and check out my other unboxings and review of the other koala crates. And if you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.